Hey there guys, it's Lovieboy2603 here and welcome to Football's A Pitch, episode 37. Today, Livingston welcome Queen of the South to the Tony Macron Arena. Now, going into this game, this is a massive game. Queen of the South sits 6th in the Ladbrokes Championship, Livingston sit 3rd, but the points between us are that tight today is a true 6 point and I cannot wait. Now, I'm just as shocked as you guys, I'm actually uploading a Football's A Pitch. Livingston, unfortunately, has been for a bad spell where the league didn't give us a home fixture between November 4th and December 2nd, but in that time we had so many postponed fixtures from December 2nd to January 6th, so it's going to be a big game today, a real six point. I'm looking forward to having some football again, and the last time Livingston Queen of South met was at Palmerston, where Livingston ran out 3-0 winners, which are a very good result for us. We're going to struggle to get a result like that again. I'm going to predict 3-1 Livingston, I think we will get three goals again, but I do think they will score, so... 3-1 Livingston, the last time Queen of South met us at our stadium was a 2-2 draw, which, good goal for Derek Lyle, and we got a very, very lucky equaliser a few minutes from time, so hopefully Livingston can pull out a great result today, you might notice I'm wearing my wee yellow kit, I'm going to try and alternate it between black and yellow kit, I do say weekly, but at this rate it could be monthly or even seasonally with the amount of postponed games we have, anyway guys, I'm just joking, anyway, let's get into this vlog, I'm excited for another football pitch, I hope you enjoy it, come on Livingston, let's get three points today. Stupid goal to lose. I'm self-inflicted. That's kind of how we lost today. Now, opening 10 minutes, I like being positive about Livingston, but the opening 10 minutes was unbelievable. We just were not in it today. I mean, the opening 10 minutes was quite bad, but we did find a bit of a game, but then Halkett, who by the way, Halkett has had a great season, an amazing captain for Livingston, normally very tight at the back in defence, but like the own goal against the Mirren, had a wee hiccup, and it kind of led the Queen of South guy in the box, to which Neil Alexander made a very good save, but our defence just were exposed and they got their goal. Now, the only thing is, if an attacker or midfielder makes a mistake, then either they miss a shot or they miss a pass. But if a defender or keeper makes a mistake, it's not spawned nine times out of ten, it's a goal. But yeah, halkett has been a really good player. I think he just had a few minutes of bad luck there, and unfortunately that's cost us, and we find ourselves trailing 1-0 just before half-time. Now, the way the players went into the tunnel, they just had the feeling that you were going to lose today, and... That's the bad thing, you can tell with the player's attitude that they were going to lose, and I don't know why, because we should have been wanting it, because at the end of the day, all we needed to do was get a draw and then we'd be back in the top four, because we're currently fifth now. Now, opening in the second half, we had a bit of a promising start, we had a good chance or two, but then we kind of died out, and not in the fact that we're bad, but Queen of the South just shut up shop. Now, Inverness did try this against us when we drew 1-1 with them midweek, but we did manage to get a late goal, but Queen of the South just defended and defended and held on and held on, but... Towards the last 15 minutes, we had a bit of fight about us and we just had chance but it just was not working for us. Now, um, that young boy Jordan Thompson that's on loan for Rangers, he had a really good game. I mean, he only played for about 30 minutes but the 30 minutes that he played in, he had good vision, he was very good at it so hopefully he's a good wee signing for us. Penrith had his last game, Penrith was trying everything for us a day but we just, up until the last 15 minutes, we just didn't have enough fight about us and I can't understand why at the end of the day... It's not like it was a nothing game today. Today was an important match and it's found us out of the top four, which is not good considering the dream of the Premiership. Although, being realistic, I think it'll be Championship football at Almondville next season. I can't see us getting promotion, but you've got to have a bit of optimism. Although, we do have a game in hand over Queen of the South and Dunfermline. So, it is doable, but 
it's one of those ones when you sit down and think about it. But I, Neil Alexander, he showed a lot of fight. You could tell he really wanted to win the day. But there was just not enough fight and I can't, I just, I honestly can't justify it. I just, we need to be going for results when it suits us. But another thing, I bring this up every week, our referee had a nightmare again. I mean, one of the offsides, he done it for both Queen of the South and Livingston, I'm trying to be even here. Literally, the guy's here, there's about three defenders there and he started to run for his own half and he had the ball, how can you be offside there? There is no way you can be offside, but referees and linesmen just don't have a clue and it ruins the game and I do say this every week, but today I think somebody did we deserve a draw? I'd say throughout the second half we were the better team, we probably did deserve a draw, but did we deserve to lose the goal? We did, we did, because we were just too slow to deal with the pressure at the back and it's cost us again. But anyway guys, next week Livingston are away to Brecon City, so let's hope we can get some three points. Although Brecon got a really good result today, they drew 1-1 one, one with Morton, which did help us, and result of the day, I know it doesn't affect this game, but I need to tell you, Falkirk 6, Dundee United 1. Considering the way Falkirk been playing this year, that is an absolute shocking result. But anyway guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Onwards and upwards, let's hope Livingston can continue their form that they had at the first half of the season. Let's hope we can bring the playoffs back. Come on Livingston, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.